Hi there, you're welcome to day 36 of our 90 days with Jesus. And today we'll be talking about unconditional love. And guess what scripture comes to mind whenever I hear unconditional love? You guessed right, John 3.16. And I'd like us to say it together. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. Now, let's look at that scripture together. The first part of that scripture gave birth to the second part. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Now, the second part says that whosoever believeth in him. Now, there is no believing in him and having eternal life without God giving his only begotten son. Praise God. And that is what unconditional love talks about. There's a story of a missing rake in a prison yard. When the prison warder has searched relentlessly for the rake and couldn't find it, he resorted to threatening everyone that was involved in that work. He raised his machete up and he said, I will start to kill you one after the other until I've killed everyone, except you tell me who the culprit is or where the rake is. Nobody came forward to admit to it. And then suddenly, one of the prisoners came forward, thinking to himself that it's better I die for all than all to die for one. After he was macheted to death, the missing rake was found, preserved, and forgotten behind a barn in the prison yard. Now, I know some people will be wondering, oh, why would he do something like that? Why would he just come out and admit to it? The truth of the matter is, everybody he had known in the prison were like family to him. They had bonded over the years, not because there was something they could get. What could he probably get in the prison yard? Nothing. But he had formed a relationship with them and they were like his family. And that's exactly what God did for us. And that's exactly what God expects of every of his child, to love without conditions. I, I, I know people will say things like, oh, I don't, somebody hurt me, or they did this to me. The reason why we feel that a lot of the times is because we feel that those people who know us better should understand us better. And sadly, when they hurt us, we feel it the most, compared to a stranger who probably we may not meet again in our lives. Take a stand today and decide to love unconditionally. And I believe that the love that Christ has shared abroad in our hearts will set us free and help us through. I'd like us to pray together. Father, we thank you for your word. And we ask that you help us to love like you love. There are things that make it a bit difficult or tough for us to, to want to love people the way we should. But we know that as we are anchored on you, that we'll always overcome. Father, we give you thanks. We give you praise because we live conscious of this going forward. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.